their set. Good to go, and they sent back on their journey from the 1600 meter marker. On the left hand side, Keep On Dancing is racing second. The blue cap of Bold Speed now moves around into a promising position. Parkdale Yellow Sleeves and Cap is now going to set off and hunts for the lead, and Parkdale finds the lead cozily a length and a half. Bold Speed is racing away in that second position. Marmalade just a little bit awkward for a stride or two. Liana, as we see the back view of the runners. As we now get the front view. Parkdale by one length. Bold Speed at the rail. Duchess of Malfi is racing away in third. Has the shadow roll. Pink Silks of Master's Beauty. Keep on dancing. Marmalade's tucked up between runners. Liana's around in the orange silks. Yoshida. Joyful Winter racing in about nine spot gets a niggle or two. Then we drop back to Girl from Ipanema towards the back end of the field and Sigma Alpha's on the inside. Girl from Ipanema is going to try and make a move around but then just slots back to the back of the field. Homeward bound 450 meters to go and Duchess of Malfi now moves up. Masters Beauties in the Pink Silks, Parkdale. Liana's on the right hand side. Bold Speed, the blue cap. Keep on dancing, trying to get going. Coming inside the 250, and Marmalade's also running on well. Masters Beauty, but here comes Marmalade between them. And Marmalade becomes the live wire. The stables double looks on ya. And number three, Marmalade, a sweet victory by a length and a tail. Keep on dancing, Masters Beauty, and maybe Dan. Duchess of Malfi for the minor spots. Well done to the stable. They gave the green light. They said they're looking for the double. Serena Mudley, Lazan Forbes, and they had the previous race winner called Great Warrior. And when they went down to the start, I said you can mention Mr. Fenwick in the ownership. So Mr. Fenwick's in the ownership with the full yuns, and they'll be over the moon. Well done to the team, the just as well, bred by Bruce LaRue. Keep on dancing second, Masters Beauty. And then number 11, Duchess of Malfi, just ahead of Sigma Alpha. And Duchess of Malfi, Warren Kennedy, absolute soldier. That's the horse that dislodged him at the gates. He rolled underneath, got back on top, so he's going to be quite bruised there, probably Warren Kennedy, but he's as tough as nails. Marmalade comes alive down the middle of the course. Serena Mudley stick in the right hand and goes off at 9 Rand 20, 280 the spot. Number three, Marmalade. The Zahn Forbes to the winner's enclosure. There's the photo. Keep on dancing. Master's beauty for the minor spots. Back to the studio. Oh, beautiful evening. It's turned out to be for Lazan Forbes and, uh, of course, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fillion, and Suzette and Parsi. And I see Mr. Fenwick involved in the partnership here with his daughter of Jest as well. Serena Mudney doing duty for the yard. And it, it's just wonderful uh, when a plan comes together because you fancied both your horses, Lazan. Yeah, Dees, thank you very much. Just a, a very big congratulations to Barsi and Suzette. Um, this is their first double, and I told them tonight I'm going for the double. I want to double in their colours tonight, tonight. I tried very hard to get them out here, but they were already in Cape Town for the Mets, and they couldn't move flights and things around. So I know they watched, um, and I know they would have loved to have been here. They did try, but it's just a bit difficult. You know, they they real jet setters going all over the country. So, yeah, but it's just wonderful to be able to do this for them. You know, you fancy your horses, uh, there are other horses fancy than rates, but there's only so much that you can do and when the gates open it's, it's up to your jockey and Sereno again very competent. Absolutely Dees, uh, I really enjoy Sereno, he's, he's got the most wonderful work ethic, um, he's a very talented rider, he's a very calm rider, he's, he's wonderful with the horses um, and I think that we, we're striking up quite a nice team and I really want to see him on my horses going forward as well. 
Well, brilliant. Lovely afternoon. And uh, just uh, for your information, the first time uh, your kids watched a race with somebody going ballistic and he got a bit terrified. Yeah, he's used to a, a woman's voice screaming, mom, <laughs> mom's voice. So I think when he when he heard all the gentlemen over there uh, sure. joining in, he did get a little bit of a fright. But yeah, it's just wonderful to be here. And thank you to my entire team, um, everybody that rides for me. You know, Serino does an enormous amount of work and it's nice to see him being rewarded with the, the victories. Top class double. Thank you. Lovely. Let's get Serino in. And uh, yeah, just like Lausanne, you were quite confident that this one could win as well. Yes, definitely. She was putting up the work, and you know, we we're, were confident coming to the race. You know, Mrs. Forbes and I spoke, and we said we could have a double today. You know, and I'm just glad they're both duly obliged. And you know, it's a big team effort, it's a big thanks to everyone concerned. Again, at what stage of the race did you think if I get a clear run, I could win? You know, I was going very well. I was actually battling to get this filly in behind. You know, I wanted to, one or two to follow because she, she can't get a bit keen. And, you know, I managed to get uh, one or two in front of me midway through. And it, it worked out for me in the straight. You know, I just waited on and the gaps opened late. And uh, she won a good, very good race today. It's lovely when you're building up a relationship with the trainer as well. Yes, 100%. You know, Mrs. Ford's been very loyal to me. And I, I really, really appreciate her loyalty to me. You know, it's, it's nice when the trainer can stick by you. And, and as well as the owners, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Fulun have been good to me since they started. So a big thanks to them as well. The one thing I want to touch on is I know it's a you know a good few months now that you've taken out your license and you're a fully fledged jockey, but you just seem to be growing in confidence as well, Serena. Yes, definitely. You know, I've got a backing of a lot of people who help me out. You know, so it's uh, going back at home and starting my replays and watching uh, reruns of horses and working very hard in the mornings. You know, it's, it's always good to get to know your horses back at home and, and it's paying dividends. Well, it's rides like this that certainly puts your name out there and all the best with this double. And uh, who knows? It could be that type of evening where we could see you again. Yes, you know, if uh, please God, if, if we can do that, it'll be lovely. Uh, but, you know, I must thank uh, Tash and Steve. They do a lot of work back at home. You know, they often don't get the credit they, they deserve, and, and they do a lot of work. So big thanks to them as well. well. Now I'm told that pink and blue is your favorite color. Yes, definitely. Now I must thank the owners <laughs> as well, Mr. and Mrs. Ryu. They're, they're down in Cape Town for the match, so big thanks to them as well. Nice double for them. Well done. Thank you. Lovely. And then uh, the winning groom, uh, the gentleman that takes care of the sauce, Marmalade, Pumzira. Well done to you, Mama. Hey, number two. Well done. Number two. 2,000 for this man. And uh, Sipalele Gumede of Ali Argyle handing over the 1,000 rand. And it's number two for Pumzile, who takes care of both Lazan's Forbes horses. What it was. Great warrior in the previous race. And now Marmalade.